Whoa, this is the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Just had a little skate session as the sun went down. Kinda didn't need to, needed to do it. I, uh, I got a, a text message from a, a dear friend of mine from the past informing me that a, another dear friend of mine from the past had been uh, killed by a hit and run driver in this city of Los Angeles while crossing the street on her skateboard. It's that, it's that moment to remember how precious life is. Like I said, I'm not one to uh, dwell on death. Death is, is very final. And uh, I hope my friend had found peace with, with God, with her soul, with forgiveness, with all of these things that we need to find while we still have a chance here in this life. I hope she had found love, joy, happiness. I don't know, I hadn't talked to her in wow, six, six, seven, six or seven years. And it's one of those things, uh, there's all sorts of like footage from a, uh, a laundromat where she was doing her laundry that night. She got taken down by a drunk driver. So just again, there's no excuse to drink and drive in 2020. Yep, footage of her skating across the street and then kind of goes out of frame and then you just see this car coming full speed, hit and run, and then they caught the guy. Drunk driver, city of Los Angeles, man. That's the, uh, that's the second one of my friends to be uh, smoked by a hit and run driver in this city. It's uh. I don't know, man. It's that thing, dude. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's maybe it's an easy way. Maybe it's a quick one. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just I just think about it in the terms of like, again, how precious life is. That's why I was like, I'm gonna go skateboard for a little bit and just take a couple turns in honor of my friend who was riding a skateboard, and and think about how blessed. I am to have this day and to be grateful to God for uh, just a, a chance to be grateful. You know, it's um, every minute we get is a gift. And, and I think that's sort of a uh, perspective that you get as you age a little bit. You know, it's easy to be footloose and fancy free from when you're young. Like I remember, you know, it's this friend of mine. I remember, I remember partying in Boston with her and my girlfriend at the time who was her best friend. And I remember partying with her in Oregon and Pennsylvania and full renegade. You know, I don't like friends that aren't, aren't renegades, but you know, that renegade thing, it's a, it's a tough road, man. It is a tough road and eventually you've got to come in from out of the cold. I just tell you that to any of you, you renegades that are aging out there is sooner or later the, uh, the true rebellion lies in finding uh, home happiness and family. You know, I, I, think about, I think about my journey out of the cold and, and what it would be like if I was you know, I don't know, man. I'm just very grateful. It reminds me of how grateful I, I am because uh, dying alone on the streets of Los Angeles at 1.30 in the morning in the arms of a stranger. At least there was a stranger there. So there happened to be some, some random passerby who uh, held my friend till the end. So that's a, that's a comforting thought. Cause my other, you know, my other friend who got hit by a hit and run driver about the same time at night died alone in the, in the street. 
I don't know, man. It's uh, it's that thing. Like I said, I, I don't I don't want to get too much into the uh, the doom and gloom of it, man. Because like it's just a reminder of this life is just a gift. Every minute is precious. It's funny because like in the footage, right? The, the the security footage. You see my friend with another friend of hers. They're like riding around on their skateboard in the parking lot. Just you know doing that that thing that just living life moment and then you see and then like two seconds later dude it's game over there's just a speeding black car that comes out of nowhere game over man and i think that that's that's the uh the real sign and, and and that's how we honor our friends who have been lost and those who have perished is is we we realize that it's that quick and that we only have this moment to find love happiness salvation and forgiveness and there's really no reason to hold a grudge there's really no reason to hang on to to whatever it may be that would uh stop you from telling it's funny the car in front of me says on their license plate hey angel trippy right and uh it's just that thing today's the today this moment is the moment that we can make peace because we truly never know what the uh, next moment's gonna bring so yeah go tell your people you love them go hug your children Maybe send a text message to your parents at the at the bare minimum. Tell them you love them. Maybe tell some friends you haven't talked to in a long time that you love them. Because uh, I'm sure that would make the difference. And vice versa, right? If, if It would be nice to know that you were loved right before the moment came when it got all final. But, you know, I would just say those, if you've... I'm not gonna turn it into something else. Just appreciate life for it is right here, right now. No do-overs, no second chances when you're dead. The second chances are based upon you being alive. So those of you who are struggling with drugs, alcohol, depression, loneliness, seek some help, man. Ask for some help because uh, this life is a gift. There's nothing you can overcome as long as you're pulling a breath. But the minute you don't have a breath left, you don't have a chance anymore. This life is a gift. And uh, to my friend, I love you, I miss you, and I hope you're at peace. Thank you, God, for this day. Amen.